saw just a terrible thing. The deputies, they start kicking him on the head, on the body, here on the neck, here. They were saying, stop fighting, stop fighting. He wasn't fighting. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! I saw the body lying down on the floor with blood around his, his head. I think he was unconscious. I've investigated jails and prison systems around the country, and really there is nothing to equal the horror of what I've seen in the Los Angeles County jails. How does it get to the point that a 26-year-old male that weighs 140 pounds is beaten on by five or six people? How does it happen? He had a concussion. He had um, a collapsed lung. He had four fractured ribs. He had four broken teeth and burning on his skin. Uh, from the pepper spray. Now tonight, the story of another inmate beaten on the third or 3,000th floor of Men's Central Jail. They handcuffed me and took me to a back room and they slammed my head into um, a glass wall over half a dozen times. What we see are just uh, horrendous beatings administered to inmates by deputies many of them for no discernible reason at all. No, I don't believe that any deputy will ever get involved in a fight with an inmate that the inmate hasn't started. Kicking an inmate's teeth in is never a reasonable response to a situation in the jails. We're talking about the kind of injuries that people don't necessarily ever recover from. Now the story that might never have surfaced if someone hadn't picked up his home video camera. We've all seen the pictures of Los Angeles police officers beating a man they had just pulled over. The videotape actually was the catalyst uh, for a rather thorough uh, review of the way LAPD operated. And from that perspective was a very good wake-up call. I cannot escape the conclusion that something is horribly wrong within the Sheriff's Department's management of their jail system, and that the only way that can really be corrected is for a, a full-blown federal investigation. I trust in God, I trust in the justice, I trust in, in, in myself, and I'm, this is why I, I, I have the courage to do it. It's not easy for me, but I'm doing it because I know there is hope. And things have to be changed. The system has to be changed.